Hey guys, take a with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if the Bluetooth connection is dropping and you're having issues where it connects or reconnects and it's a constant issue that you're facing. Now, this is the issue that a lot of users are seeing on the latest iOS 17 update, but you may be experiencing on any of your devices. So these are the troubleshooting steps that you want to follow in order to fix this problem. So let's get started. So the very first thing I like to do whenever I'm having any sort of connectivity issue is simply pull down the control menu on your iPhone, put your phone on airplane mode briefly, and then turn it back off. And that does a quick network refresh. So things like the setting here you saw will get refreshed. And this is the quickest and easy ways to uh, ensure that the connection that's established in the past are fixed. Now, after you have done that, uh, the next thing you want to do on your iPhone is a force restart. So in order to do a force restart on your iPhone, you're going to press and release the volume up press and release the volume down one after another finally hold the side button until the screen goes completely black and once you see the apple logo you let go of that button so i'm going to do volume up volume down and finally hold the side button just like that until the screen goes completely black so you'll see here we're not going to slide to power off because that will be a normal shutdown we're just going to wait till the phone goes down and then i'm still holding that side button and then i see the apple logo up here i let go of that button and we have done a force restart which will fix a lot of software related issue and this method is really safe to do it will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos videos apps will be safe and still there on your phone now after you have done that next thing to do is to remove the connection that you have currently with the bluetooth devices that you're having issues with so what you'll go is go into your settings go to bluetooth here and then you'll see here there's an option for devices that are connected so if you see here right now i have my sony headphones connected here in the past i had my airpods connected as well so if i'm having issues with the specific device let's say i'm having issues with my um, headphones here i'll click on that eye icon here i will forget this device right click on forget and then have it reconnect again and the reason why you want to do that is that it establishes a new connection so that if you're having issues where it's dropping uh, it will reconnect again, hopefully fix that. So whatever device you have, whether it's a headphones or you're connecting to a car or whatever um, Bluetooth device you have here, you're going to go ahead and reconnect it after you forget that device. So that might require you holding the Bluetooth uh, icon on that device that you have or turning turning that device on and off as well. So in this case for a headphone, I just have to press this uh, Bluetooth connect the device. I'm going to click on Bluetooth here. See if I can reconnect it again by pressing and holding here. And as you can see, you're searching for device, which is fine. And again, sometimes it takes a moment or two once you disconnect. As you can see, your device came up. I click on it and it's established another connection. I'm reconnected again, hopefully, this time around your Bluetooth connected device is working. Now, the other thing I recommend is that if you're connecting to multiple devices, I will recommend removing some of those devices from your list here by simply clicking on the eye icon and then forgetting that device here. And the reason why you wanna do that is that if you have a multiple device connected here, sometimes it can interfere with the connection that you have. So you wanna remove some of those connections here. Now, the next thing you wanna ensure is the device charge. Now, it's important to know that when you are connecting to a Bluetooth device, right, it has to be charged properly. Now, if it's on low battery, right, if the headphones are on low battery, the connection issue is going to occur where the Bluetooth connectivity is reduced and you might experience drops or connecting and reconnecting issues. So make sure your Bluetooth connected device for these headphones, I have a charger, I'll need to charge it. Um, same with headphones, you're going to make sure it's charged up anything that goes make sure the power connection is there if it's a wired connection and after you check that also check on your iphone here that you do not um under battery here your phone is you can see the charge percent you want to make sure you're charged at least 20 percent or more and if you have this low power mode on you need to turn that off because when you have that low power mode on by default it reduces certain functionalities and things like bluetooth connectivity can be uh, causing issues for your device so turn low power mode off on your iPhone now after you have done that it's time to go ahead and do a network reset if you're still having that Bluetooth dropping or connection issues on your iPhone so this time we're going to settings 
you go to general, go all the way down here where it says uh, transfer reset iPhone, you click on that, and then you click on reset here. The reset that we want to do is that a uh, second option which is reset network setting. When you do this reset network setting, basically it will reset all the setting uh, around your network. So if you have saved Wi-Fi password, any Bluetooth connected devices, all of that will have to get reconnected again. And this takes about a minute or two, but it's important to do that when you're experiencing any sort of connectivity issues on your iPhone. Now this method of resetting the network will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will still be safe. So you don't have to worry about that, but go ahead and do a network reset. Now, after you have done that and you're still having issues, it's time to troubleshoot the device that you're having issue with, though your Bluetooth device here. Sometimes the Bluetooth device themselves require a firmware update that you can go to the instruction, manufacturer's instruction and look that up. For example, these. Sony uh, Bluetooth has an app that does firmware update for AirPods. They come bundled in with the software of your iPhone. So if you update your iPhone and you connect it, it also updates if there's a version of firmware up there for the AirPods. And so similarly with other speakers or external devices, sometimes there's a way to update the firmware. You can look in the manufacturer's guide or contact the manufacturer. Same with the car as well. Sometimes those car uh, devices also require firmware update and can look at the manual to see if there's an update available for your car that you can do as well. So it's important to update the firmware because once you update to iOS 17, things change and the code changes. So that's why it has to be compatible in order so you don't have any Bluetooth connectivity issue. Well, lastly, after you have done all of this, it's time to check to see if Apple released the update to fix any issues they might be having on the iPhone in terms of connectivity issue in order to update your phone. You're gonna be in setting of your iPhone. You're gonna to go to uh, general here, right? Once you go to general, go to software update. And if there's an update available, it will show up all just like this, where you can click on update now. And when you do update your phone, make sure your phone is at least 50% or more charged by looking at the charge percentage. Make sure it's connected to strong uh, cellular or Wi-Fi connection and give yourself half an hour to 45 minutes for you to be able to connect uh, to your Bluetooth uh, device again without having any issues. Also follow the other step where you disconnect and reconnect your Bluetooth device or forget it and reconnect it again after you have done this software update as the update might have uh, some fixes that will require you to reconnect with your devices and after you follow the same step of that, do a forced restart as well, network reset if you have to. Same exact thing that we did in the very beginning of the video to start troubleshooting the devices and Hopefully after that your iPhone's Bluetooth connectivity issues are fixed and now your Bluetooth works as expected. And if so, please make the like and subscribe button. Also, if you found a better way to fix your issue, leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.